Hello everybody, it's the um, 12th of September today and I'm just starting a little timey-wimey video. Um, I have no idea when this video will come out. Um, this tree's got a long way to go, but this, um, I did post a picture on my social media channels um, a little while back. This is a tuna sinensis, otherwise known as the onion tree, I think, um, that I purchased. and. Uh, well, it's already grown. In a couple of weeks I've had it, maybe three weeks. It's already grown two, three inches, so um, I think this will make an interesting tree. The leaves apparently are edible, um, but I don't really think it's got enough leaves on it for now to warrant me eating them. Um, I'm just going to grow it on for the rest of this season, and then uh, next spring I will repot it into uh, probably a half size seed tree or something, um, get it used to a shallow root run, uh, but also giving it some space to, to grow. And we'll just grow it on for a little while, um, try and get us a trunk. Okay, here's a quick shot with a full size drinks can for scale, as you can see. It's absolutely huge. So it's the uh, beginning of October now. Um, and my tuna sinensis, otherwise known as the onion tree, has uh, put on a reasonable amount of growth in the short period of time that I've had it. And um, I've decided I'm going to put it into a larger pot um, well, I want to put it in a larger pot to begin building more of a trunk and I think it'll be okay to do that now um, unlike this little uh, um, citrus trifoliata which I've only just received and is a tiny little thing and having knocked it out of its pot gently um, its roots aren't even filling the pot yet so I'm going to put this one away but this is a, a hardy lemon stroke orange um, we will see how hardy it is but for now what I want to do with this one is I want to put it into uh, this sort of half side size seed tray which will give its roots um, more space more growing room um, and allow the tree to get off to a well it can get its roots down now and then get away in the spring in a a larger volume of soil whilst getting it ready with a flat root system um, which is where I often prefer to start with many of my trees get them used to a flat root system before they go into a into a bonsai pot so let's get rid of the turntable although I'll give you a quick 360 um, and then bring in the potting tray and uh, we'll get it into its new pot tray call it what you will Okay, so just pull that out of its pot gently. You can see it's got a, a reasonable uh, root system, although it hasn't entirely filled the pot. It's not become root bound. Um, must be root hook. And I'm just going to, it's planted quite deeply in the pot actually, so it won't take much to get it into that flat little pot. I just want to disturb the roots as little as possible. I've got an interesting bit of movement there. Um, I'm not even going to completely bare root this tree. I don't want to disturb it this late in the season, although we still have a few more weeks growing time. Um, realistically speaking for this part of the world but we've actually got a nice little radial root system I'm just going to comb those roots out gently so that they're not just going round and round and round and then we will put it in the pot I'm just using my basic bog standard um, potty mix 
Fortunately, I've still had some of the kitty litter left. What I'm going to do next year, once it's all run out, I don't know, but there we go. Uh, some research to be doing over winter when it's wet and cold. Don't really have any kind of preference um, for front or back, but I'm thinking I can either have it leaning to the left um, or leaning slightly to the No, I've done that entirely wrong, haven't I? And I can have it even slightly to the left or slightly to the right. And I think I'm going to go left for no other reason than I can. And then I'm not going to worry too much about positioning within the pot, although I'm going to move it slightly over to the right as is kind of traditional, only in that. Um, and it goes into a bonsai pot that's what i want to do with it so it can grow more root this side and i'm actually going to cover those roots with the soil it came in now in theory they will have there will be um, bacteria and things that the tree is used to and what not it's what not a scientific term of course it is um, one of the best scientific terms there is a what not closely followed by a who's it Let's make sure there's no air the trees properly firmed and then I will put it in the shade house um, where it will be protected from winds and things because let's face it it's a little bit wobbly at this point Uh, as I may have already said, it's um, it's nice to grow bonsai from seed. It's not always easy to get hold of uh, rare trees or dip, you know interesting trees like this. This onion tree, um, the seed for it, and actually I think I paid about fifteen pounds in total for the tree and um, the postage uh, for a tree that is uh, impossible to get locally. Um, and I didn't have to faff about with all the um, fertilizing stratification, all the things that you sometimes need to do with seed. And uh, I basically got a tree that's as near as damn it being grown from seed. So there we are, a little um, little 360. It assures me it's edible. Well, the label assures me it's edible, and what I've read about it on the internet says it's edible. So, I love to chew. There is a very vague, very mild oniony flavour. I think you'd have to eat a lot of it to get a lot of onion. But, maybe in a salad, I don't know. Not for me, I don't think. Thank you so much for watching. Do all the usual YouTube things. Like, subscribe, comment below. Oh, these leaves are a bit... I'm getting stronger now. Anyway, yes, comment below. But most of all, please, please, please. Stay safe, everybody.